What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers, welcome back to the old subscribers. Um, I didn't get through all the signs yesterday, so I'm going to do Capricorn. Um, like things that you guys are unaware of, um, things that are holding you back, um, what's helping and influencing you, and what you kind of need to release and move away from what you should like go after oh gosh well <laughs> here we go <laughs> ten of fire with temptation so I feel like you guys are kind of carrying around um, this burden of some kind it might be some kind of connection with a fire sign but I just feel like this is kind of um, toxic to you. And maybe in the recent past, you made the decision to kind of move away from that energy, but then you kind of ran into more things that kind of, I just think like, intuitively you guys might be picking up on some things or you're coming into more awareness about Things that are going on, like you have a better understanding about things, but that might draw in things to you, you know what I mean? The wrong kind of energy, because they can maybe pick up on your energy or something. I just feel like something, like they want, someone wants your advice. <laughs> But you kind of have to be careful about that because there's a difference between helping people and kind of being aware of the equal exchange of energy, for lack of better words. So something that you don't know about or need to know is... The Nine of Fire with the Moon card. So there's something that you, some kind of illusion that you're not seeing. I think that maybe now you're more open to that, but like the Nine of Fire talks about something where, you know, in other tarot decks, this would be the wounded warrior, the person who has their guard up, the one who doesn't let anybody in that are ready to fight. But in this energy, I think that there was something that you were missing that was like right in front of your face. Something to do with um, your energy, I think, and kind of what's going on around you. I just feel like with this moon energy, things have been revealed to you. And <clears throat> there's going to be some things <clears throat> if you guys have been in this trans have went through this transformation, um, you know, if you kind of have healed and kind of taken, like committed to positive energy and faith and kind of turned this around after whatever happened. Um, there's going to be something where there could be a, there's something you hold on to, like deep within you that maybe you're not ready to, accept or some maybe have this conversation but at the same time then you have the page of water with the ten of water this is happiness this is uh, a baby a child it's a little girl I think that this is coming back in for you but it has something to do with stability it has something to do with um kind of um there's kind of like a unexpected gifts coming or like this might be unexpected for you that to, when it comes in um but i think that they your kindness and your compassion and stuff um just be 
open and willing to receive whatever this is. If it's a child, if it's a person, um, I could be in the month of April when things are, <clears throat> you're being helped and it's just like, there's a conversation that someone wants to have with you and it's important to have faith in this. Um, it's important to listen to your intuition, um, accept and understand certain things about yourself and other people that maybe you are ready for this, that maybe you need to have a conversation about your emotions with this or kind of be open to support from other people or maybe just kind of um, having faith that there will be something positive that's coming for you. Um, what you need to release or move away from. Um, two of water. Eight of air. Eight of water. Nine of air. There was this, this energy of mental conflict, mental fog. Um, anxiety, depression, um, not being able to sleep. And it had something to do with a, an emotional connection that you had, maybe a partnership, maybe a soulmate connection, maybe it was something that wasn't equal, you know, even though you wanted it to be. I think it's just like, it could have been a friendship it could have been some kind of awareness that you have about this now you tried to be supportive to someone and I feel like they took that for granted it kind of left you carrying the burden of their bullshit and the only way for you to kind of understand or be aware of what this is is to walk away pull your emotions out of connections friendships where you kind of are in a mental fog around them all the time pay attention to um your intuition when it comes to like um friendships and So pay attention to when someone talks because I think that then you're going to kind of, it'll kind of click because I think that there's this kind of creepy energy of someone kind of feeding off of you in a way and I don't think you're aware of the fact that you need to pull away from this or this person because I think that there are some things going on with this person's mentality that could be passed to you if you're not careful. Um, I feel like you guys are supportive, like you're a good friend, but at like, you need to be aware of what other people tell you, what you're, what's going on in your own mind. Um, you need to withdraw from something and it's not only mentally, it's like emotionally. <laughs> so what you need to kind of, um, move away from, or you're going to know what this is, whatever, um, it's, it was a partnership, it was a relationship, it could be a Gemini. I think it's a Gemini for some of you guys. There was a connection where things happened and if you dig a little bit deeper, you'll understand the emotional tie that you have. Um, what you need to kind of go towards are pursue. You have the two of earth with the eight of earth. So I think that you have more than one option here when it comes to something like 
something you want to do or balancing things out. I think that there, you guys have a, a talent that it's either a musician, it's some of you could be a musician. Um, some of you guys um, might have more guides than you're aware of too, but working on something that you want to work on, working on and being committed to something in your life where it's going to be successful. But I think that you need to have confidence in yourself, you know, um, going through this transformation, you are learning how to stand up for yourself and be more confident. Um, despite the bullshit that's going on, I feel like you guys are really powerful. You're kind of these structured leaders, um, or maybe that's what you should go towards because the king of fire is an entrepreneur. He's bold. He's courageous. Um, I feel like <clears throat> this is something you wanted to do for a long time. So when you think about something you wanted to do as since you were a child, but you just never really knew, <laughs> um, whatever that is, making that decision, um, it's going to bring you stability and it's going to bring you these new opportunities. <laughs> it could be a proposal. It could be a relationship. It could be a baby. So I think some of you guys in the midst of you going towards your passion and something you really love is going to bring things in. because of the love that you've given other people, because of the compassion that you've given other people. Um, the universe wants you to do you. Like, you know, um, manifest, you know, manifesting things in and going that in that direction. Don't let anybody hold you back or anything, you know. Maybe don't tell people exactly right now what you're doing. But just know you guys are transforming and not only that, like whatever you're going to manifest, make sure it's positive um, and be aware of your thoughts because you're going to be manifesting really fast into your life and there's going to be, it's going to be good things, you know, where did this go? Seven of swords, but do you need, I don't know who, we'll just see where this goes. So the seven of swords. The strength card and the ace of wands getting your confidence back um, kind of getting your mojo back loving yourself and taking control um, regardless of what it looks like to other people you know I feel like some people like to do things according to how they were brought up and whatever structure that was but maybe it's okay to or be aware that you can kind of pave your own way you know what to do, but you might need to leave a situation or there could have been uh, this energy of someone needing to leave a situation, but they're not really sure. Um, Cause it's like, he's walking away and he's got all the swords in his hand, but there's one sword left on the ground. So I don't know. It's almost like this is something they, they felt like they had to do. And they kind of took responsibility for the other part. <laughs> um, the death card is something that needs to be removed. 
these are things that are needing to be um the death card is all about transformation and elimination so something had to go maybe this person had to go or what you don't realize is that they probably was a good thing <laughs> you know um This new moon might have brought some energies around you where you're going to have to be pay attention to and be honest, um, investigate things um, around you. But I just think like you might be running from something or maybe there's someone who doesn't want to go through this transformation. But once this happens, then the Knight of Wands is here. This is really quick action um, towards this new beginning towards whatever you want to do you know um the judgment card is here with the page of swords in reverse this could have been um somebody who was really kind of i feel like they're evil in a way like they were that way on purpose and i guess time to accept the fact that maybe you didn't you need to make a decision about them that um <laughs> 